what's going on it's your homeboy picasso back at it again and um yeah let's jump right into it so there has been a few changes um not that much changes but i did go ahead and do something on my own so if you guys go ahead and take a look you'll see that we have three uh, circles or let's see if i can get really into this so you guys can see exactly what it is so we have three i want to call them anchors so we have three anchors uh in place of those squares or sorry those rectangles the shapes the docks that we created in the last video so i'm going to go ahead and show what that's all about so let's take a look at the animation i'm just going to swipe to the other screen there so you guys now see uh, what the anchors are all about okay i'm going to swipe away okay because i was thinking of what to do and I'm like, you know what? I don't actually want the docks to go off screen. I wouldn't mind if they actually grew from in the screen, basically, if you guys get what I mean when I say that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, this is going to be a short one. I'm just going to show you guys uh, uh, the formula or uh, the animation sets that I used. All right, let's do this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump into KLWP. All right, and we can actually zoom. So, of course, it's the, well, you don't know what it was. It wasn't there in the last video. So, basically, what I did was I created a circle. Okay, let's start from the uh, top one. Zoom in so you guys can see better. Right there. Okay, so I went ahead and I created three circles. Okay, so here is the first circle. Okay, so here's the first circle. So, I created a circle, I put it in position where I wanted it. The middle one, well, it wasn't hard or anything like that, but it was the most, uh, uh, or the more challenging one, I should say. Come on, there we go. So it was the more challenging one because I did have to set that to move and then set a limit, and I'll show you what I have to do. So let's go into animation. And, okay, so for these ones, there's not, any animation what did I press actually I think there's two circles let's see um, there you go the first circle the first circle is basic there's no animation on that one I just made a circle put it in position uh, with the the dock okay that's all I did lined it up put that in there that's fine so the first circle you place where you want to go that's it what I did was add a font icon over that okay so it's that little, if you can see, maybe I have to zoom in a little bit more. I know you can see it, but that little circle with four lines going in, you know, each uh, direction, north, south, east, and west, that little icon, I took that, that's the GPS not found fixed icon uh, from the material set, okay? For that, all I added was it reacts on background scroll, and what it does is rotate, okay? That's it. And then I just resized it and placed it over the uh, over the the circle that I created. All right. So basically, let's get in there now. So when I uh, let me get so I don't block the way. When I background scroll, it rotates. See that? Let's see, let's let's actually zoom back in. So when I background scroll, it rotates. That's basically it. The circle doesn't move but the icon font that rotates okay and then what i added was fade out so it fades out it actually fades out okay that's what i did for that then i added another font icon which would be gps fixed from the same set which is the material and then i changed that color to white so when the first one rotates and fades out that one rotates and fades in so it switches from the white. Uh, let's see if we can it. Switches from the white. Oh, the white to the black. So you get that nice little animation there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. See? Like that. Okay? That's what I did for the uh, the top circle and the bottom circle. They don't need to move. The more challenging one is the center because that one actually has to move. So let's go ahead and get to that one. So here we go. Okay, so circle, 
Now this circle, it does have to move, so let's go and check out the animation. This one is pretty simple, um, with a, sort of a little twist. So we have, it scrolls on background scroll, okay? And then we went ahead and set a limit. Now the limit is to how far that it will scroll. That's why when it's scrolling, it stops there, okay? Now I actually placed it here first, on the right side where it is now that's where I place the circle okay and the limit instead of making it scroll all the way off the page it scrolls and stops there okay so that's pretty that's pretty cool that's pretty cool and the limits 358 um, I just measured it uh, while doing it if you actually continue to press the limit like let's go there if you press the limit it will actually move so that's how I was able to set it just like that, just like that. And then I just lined it up and it was 358. Okay, so pretty cool. That's how I went ahead and did that. Now the next thing is getting the rectangles or the docks to actually, uh, um, you know, st st stop there basically, or to come that way. Now, I'm just gonna go into the animations to show you. So the first shape, um, I only added one a variable to it which is the bottom one where it's background scroll and sc uh, scroll out or scale out horizontally that's the only thing I added that's different from what we uh, did in the last video so basically it's scale out horizontally uh, screen one and the module is top right I didn't change the speed didn't change the amount nothing like that that's all I did was add scale out horizontal module top right that's it uh, the second one uh, the second shape now let's see what we did here was again just add what we did here was just add again the bottom one background scroll scroll out uh, scale out horizontal okay and I believe that we did change. no we didn't change the speed here this one is module top left okay didn't change the speed nothing like that Okay, that's all we did, scale out horizontal, reacts on background scroll, module top left. So it just kind of works with that anchor. Okay, and last but not least, I'm pretty sure you guys can guess it. Jump to the animation. We added react on background scroll, scroll scale out horizontal. And uh, the rule stays the same, it's always the center. And for the top and bottom, it's module top right. Okay, and again, didn't change the speed, nothing like that. And that's all we did, really. Um, so if you want to go ahead and play around with that and uh, play around with those animations, that's how we were able to get this awesome animation. So it looks like, so we have the anchors, okay? We have it uh, fading out, changing color, and we have that awesome animation where the docks are actually now growing from in screen rather than going off screen and coming back on. Um, I do think both ways are pretty awesome, but this is just another way that you guys can play around with it. And uh, that's what I got so far, okay? So hope you guys enjoyed this quick update. Um, of course, there's more to come. Uh, this is just, you know, added again, uh, number two. We're gonna keep going ahead with this, all right? I'm your humble host, Picasso. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up, really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace, I'm out.